Good morning everyone and welcome to Travel Day. We did just go up, jump straight in the car pretty much, so there wasn't really anything to film. It was a bit uh, dark. Dad's thrilled to be taking us to Manchester this morning. <laughs> just had a lovely sunrise, you've probably seen. But yeah, we should be at Manchester in about, what, 15, 20 minutes? Less than that. Less than yeah. that. Very we'll depressing, dropping him off. Mum and Dad do normally come with us, because they can't this, this time, but... September next year. Here we go. Here Covid we go. allowing. Ah, uh, there's all this new stuff with new variants coming out today and change of tests and everything. So hopefully we're uh, all right with that. I did book the lateral flow that I needed to get back in, and then the company have emailed me today saying I can pay an upgrade to PCR. So that's quite good. Laura, how are you doing in the back? Excited. Yeah. Yeah. Excited. All dressed in her Mickey outfit. Yeah. I'm all ready. So there's not much to really show until we get to the airport really, it was dark this morning, jumped up, shower, straight in the car, so we will uh, catch you at the airport. So this has all changed since we last flew from here. This is all brand new to us. I'm uh, gonna run through a few things of what we've just experienced there with uh, fast track security, etc. in a minute. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna have a little bit of an explore. This is all completely new to us. Really nice, actually. It's a lot more big and spacious. Yeah, it's nice. I don't even know if there's a Burger King in here anymore. Completely new, isn't it? Completely did, different. Yeah, I did look online to see what was going on. Yeah, I'll have a little mooch further around. I've got a big massive JD and stuff. Yeah, pretty nice in here. But yeah, that was a little bit chaotic with uh, security. I'll run through all that in a minute. And also talk about, you know, what documents we needed, etc., for Virgin. But uh, we're trying to find somewhere to sit and chill for a minute first. So these Archies are popping everywhere in England now. Look very popular. Looks very American, I'd say, as well. Very American, I was just after a quick Burger King. So there is an upstairs section we'll head to now. I've got no idea where we're going or what's going on in here, to be honest. Pot kettle black. Looks like a coffee shop, but it's full. So it's massive, but not too much seating in all these little restaurants. It's busy in here as well for a Sunday morning. It's Sunday the 28th of November it is, and it is pretty busy. Yeah, when we sit down, I'll have a chat with you all, it's all a bit chaotic, uh, sort of getting through with everything. Yeah, we'll have a little look. I did try and book the escape lounge, as I mentioned on the vlog yesterday, uh, but it is still closed. I think it seemed to be every, all the airport lounges in all the terminals were still closed off. So even this Seven Brothers and Amber Ale house are all full. It's absolutely, it's a bit chaotic in here. There's no quick Burger King or anything. It's all like fancy. I wouldn't want to eat a big fancy San Carlo meal before a flight, but plainly a lot of people do. So we're probably just going to head down, try and find a coffee, I think. Going to be no Burger King. <laughs> Got excited, but that's not even open. Yeah, Wagamama's isn't even open. Was there anything gluten free in San Carlo? There was, but it's very, very posh. Oh, it's very posh, very expensive. It's, I don't know why you'd want to eat that before a flight, but plainly, 
that's just me. Um, so we'll head back down, we'll have a little bit more of a mooch and find a coffee somewhere. There is a Costa back through the other side, so might have to, nice might have to settle for a Costa. <laughs> I just like something quick and easy, uh, to be honest. I mean, that queue's going to take about half an hour to even get in, so... So, uh, very, very busy in here. I do like it, it's nice and new. A lot better than the old one. There's a lot of places to just sit. I a lot of places to just sit. It could do with another coffee shop, maybe. Yeah. For the amount of people that are in here. Uh, but yeah, no, I do like it. It's big, spacious. I think they just need more fast serve stuff rather than the San Carlo, etc. But uh, no, it's nice. I do like it. It's uh, coffee time now, if we can get one. So we've come back through to Costa, still nowhere to sit though, so we're gonna have to get the drinks, take them through to the other side, find somewhere to sit. As I said, I did think of that as soon as I walked through, that the seating in the actual restaurants, there's not much of it. So I'm gonna have to try and carry some food through and everything through the duty free, which is uh, a bit inconvenient, but hey ho. So I still can't find anywhere to sit and uh, chat with you all. We finally got a seat and we've got our Ooh. costas. I've got a nice chocolate orange muffin there and a ham and cheese toasty. Extra caramel in the costa. See if it's any better than the one I had yesterday. Nice, yeah. Um, security, we did pay for fast track. It's a good job we did. It was five quid each. However, what was irritating was the staff get, kept, kept getting to cut the queue. Which is fine. Yeah, so okay. they kept cutting in, which was all right. But yeah. then the staff were clued, yeah. They'd left yoghurts in their bag, electricals, all the bags ready. were getting pulled over so everything was stopped. Yeah, didn't know what went in what Yeah, even pilots, like yeah. even the pilot in front of us didn't know he couldn't put his jacket in with a certain tray. So that was, I thought that was funny. Yeah. Um, they slowed everything up then because all the bags were getting pulled aside. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, definitely recommend getting fast track because that was busy. Uh, this side, hard to get a seat, but nice. They've done it nice. It's yeah. nice, it's lovely. There's plenty of seats, there's plenty of seats to eat and drink. No. The restaurants need more tables and seating, I think. Yeah. Um, this isn't big enough for what no. uh, In terms of checking in, I did do it all online 24 hours before, which was nice and easy. Um, they do need your vaccine certificate and a negative PCR test taken no more than three days before, uh, which we had. You can add those documents on the Virgin website, so it's like pre-approved, but I could not get it to work. But that was quick and easy, checked them. Um, the only thing I didn't have, but it wasn't really important, but you might find it easier to have it printed off, was the Esther form. Yeah. I've got it all on my phone, but he did ask for it printed, but he said it's not a problem. But if you are coming, you have your um, PCR printed, your negative test result, your vaccine certificate, and your Esther, those Everything three. Printed and on this. But they're the three that they want to yeah. see, yeah. yeah. So, I'm gonna enjoy these coffees now. Uh, then we'll have another little bit of a mooch and then we board in an hour. We fly at 11. It's now 9 o'clock, but we board at 10 a.m. Yeah, start boarding at 10, so yeah, we're uh, good to go. I'm looking forward to trying that. That looks amazing. The muffin is very nice. Coffee, mm, don't get the rave about Costa, I really don't. I've got extra caramel in it, it doesn't taste sweet, it just tastes bitter. But the muffin is nice. Mm -hmm. I just want to mention, I do like that. Uh, you can recycle the lids, liquids, cups and everything. That's a uh, good feature that unfortunately Starbucks doesn't have. It's going to uh, sanitise. Well. Yep. Get a bit of hand sanitizer going on. On the handles. Everything like that. Yeah. We are wearing our FP3 masks still as well. Um, still being very careful, especially with this new variant now flying around, etc. They're going to have a little look in WH Smith's now and see if we can pick up some drinks for the plane. You do get free drinks with Virgin, but we like to, you know, have a couple of bottles. You're not waiting on the air hostess, etc. to bring them over. It's just good to have a bottle with you. Laura's just eyeing these up. We're definitely not getting any. We do not need any of these. But uh, the airport big bags are quite nice. Got everything in here. Thornton's. All kinds, these are nice, I haven't seen these for a while, I love them. Ooh. They're nice, them. the football, like um, like licorice sort of things, I do like them, I've not seen them for years. Some Harry Potter merch here in the uh, duty free. Yeah. We're going to the real thing soon, babe, so we don't need to uh, get any of that, we're looking at the real deal. Got some good stuff in here. 
but uh, it's all quite expensive for what it is. I've already spotted a little gym set here, which is uh, discounted that you'll probably wear in Florida, wouldn't you? Oh yeah. It's not going to be too thick, too warm, but it's the right sort of going to be the right sort of temperature, isn't it, for yeah. that? Yeah. So the uh, it's thirty-seven fifty discounted for the you save seven fifty on the tax on the pants and uh, seven quid on the jumper thing. That's nice, isn't it? I'll just double what second these will go over me. Reckon. Size are they small? Small, yeah. So I've just spotted these Under Armour. These are my favourite t-shirts. These are on sale for 19 euro, 19 pounds, sorry. Um, but they're the same colour as my work tops. So I think I'm going to get a couple and then I'll get my logo, the company logo put over the Under Armour because they're the right colour and they're my favourite shirts. These are amazing, these shirts. And you can just wash them and wash them and wash them. And they just stay the same. So I'm going to pick up two of them for work, basically. I'm going to have the logo put over that. Because uh, they're the right colour for work. I like them. But yeah, if you haven't tried these shirts, if you can, try one. They're so comfy and so cool. So when we checked in, the lady on the desk did say that we will be down in gate 210, which is straight down here. I can see a few Virgin planes down there as well. So uh, nice of her to tell us. So we do have a rough idea of where we're going, even though it's not on the screen. She did say 210, which I quite like. You know comfortably that you're in the right sort of area, etc., uh, which is nice. And a little look down here is another Virgin plane. So got a few virgins over there unfortunately it's not the jumbo jumbos anymore which is a shame but these ones should still be nice wonder what names we'll have oh yes always interesting yeah. what name we're going to have been on basically all the jumbos we've never been on these slightly smaller ones uh, laura's got a gluten-free meal booked as well now last time they missed off your gluten-free and we complained and we got loads of air miles for it yeah. hopefully this time it's on there i've got screenshots of it being confirmed so let's hope they actually put a gluten-free meal on board this time. There is a virgin over here as well, it could be us. So we're now in the old section of the airport. Down there used to be Burger King and everything. So this is all getting done up now. And they've got everyone in the other room. You see the old Virgin room up there, the old V room, etc. So it's weird being back down here now. This feels really old now yeah, compared to the new really stuff, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it becoming a bit more real now? Now we're about to get on the plane. We're about to get on the Virgin plane. Yeah. We're about to listen to the Virgin safety message and all of that. Oh, I'm yeah. Yeah. Just think, we've actually got a park reservation for Hollywood Studios tonight. We could, potentially, if it all goes well, we could be riding like Tower of Terror or Rock and Roller Coaster oh my God, later. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, can't we? Gonna be good. It's gonna be interesting. Don't know if the flight's gonna be full. I think it's gonna be basically, I think. Um, basically pretty full. And to put it into perspective, we paid, it was £700 each return. That is with, we have paid for the extra legroom aisle seats, yeah. which I think were £50 extra. Which isn't much um, like But I can stretch my legs right out. I'm six foot two, so I can really stretch them out. I think that's not bad at all. It's about what it used to be before all the pandemic and everything. Yeah. Um, for the extra legroom, don't mind that at all. Um, and we didn't, we haven't put any air miles towards it. We've kept them for another time. We've earned air miles doing it as well. Then we have booked our car hire through Virgin as well, which I think they're linked with Alamo. But if you book it through Virgin, you do get a full package of insurance with it. And um, when I priced it, it was coming out the cheapest with Virgin as well. I went on all the comparison sites 
and uh, Virgins came out the cheapest, which is with Alamo. But I'll talk about more about that when we're picking it up. But yeah, 700 quid return with those extra aisle seats. I don't think that's bad at all. No, not no. really. No, not bad at all. Morning. Uh, 50 H. Thank you. So this is where we've gone for these extra legroom seats. This is 50H and K. So there's plenty of room to do stuff and whatever you want to do. Nice. literally starting to snow outside <laughs> so they're gonna de-ice the wings and then hopefully we're on our way So Laura's gluten-free meal has arrived. Let's see what we've got, Laura. I've got spicy fritters, tomato sauce, pilaf rice, and chocolate. Oh, that sounds quite nice. Oh, really nice. I've got a little gluten-free roll that looks nice. Chocolate orange cheesecake. Ooh, nice. You normally complain about the desserts, don't you? Yeah. Let's see what that. Is. Yeah, at least it was on board this time. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad at all.
it's got that it's got that tram smell. <laughs> it's got the tram smell on it. So super quick and easy with the car. I did all prepay it. No clue at Alamo. Uh, Ricardo, really, really nice guy. Sorted us out. We're going to go cross now into the garages. And this is the bit, Laura, where we said when we get outside, it's nice. going to feel real then. Hello. Let's, uh, let's go and pick up our car. Are we? Oh, the smell. The smell. Oh, yes. We've made it. This is the bit in my head where it was like, it's it is really real now, really real. I've got to say, we've been about, I'd probably say 30 minutes from getting off the plane to getting the car paperwork done. I, I, I tell you what, the, the airport is heaven there on a Sunday. I, I travel on a Sunday again. It is heaven there. Absolutely lovely. Oh, it's, it's surreal. It's emotional. It's, yeah, oh. Good thing with Alamo, they did just say, okay, go along the mid-size aisle, pick whatever you want, the keys are inside, and then just drive to the barrier so we can pick any one of these. I'm gonna have a quick wander down, see what we think is best, Laura. We can go for something like this, or we can go for more like a sedan style. Elantra, that's what I booked on the paperwork. But yeah, you can go along and pick any of these. I do like the Nissans. Nissan Rogue, maybe. Yeah, I think it's going to be between the Nissan Rogue from Indiana or the Chevy. Um, Nissan or Chevy, Laura? We can go for the Nissan or the Chevy. I've driven the Nissans before and I do like them. Let's go for the Nissan, I think. We've driven this before. So, top tip, obviously, I do rent, own a car rental in Tenerife. I'm going to go round it now with the video and just note down any little scratches like this will be all on the video. It's, uh, it's a nice one in black, but it uh, is good to just film it all, have a record. No major damages on it, but yeah, always good to just keep a record of it all. For the two of us, this is perfect. This is even bigger than I thought I was going to get, so I'm well happy with that. It's, uh, and it's a little bit higher up, which is nice. So best to help Laura get these in now. So I've just familiar, familiarised myself with the cars. I'm, I'm pretty familiar with all this all the time. Um, as I said, I had one of these Nissans before and I did enjoy them. Uh, quite nice as well. You do get a sanitising wipe if you want to wipe everything off. Um, and it has been extra cleaned, etc. A very nice touch. Uh, and again, you've got another ticket here. Um, I have gone for the toll pass as well, so I did connect my credit card so that when we go through the tolls, it does just charge our card. There's a $3 surcharge or something, but for ease, the toll pass is, I do recommend it. On, yeah. The toll roads are A, much quicker if you can use them, and B, it just charges your card at the end. It's a couple of dollars, but it, it saves pulling up at the booth and putting coins in and all that. It's far, far easier. Um, so yeah, we're going to finish uh, getting myself familiarized and then we'll be uh might need that uh we'll be off heading straight to windsor hills we are very familiar with the drive we have done it many many times but i do want to try and just have the phone on just to uh make sure not being for two years so you never know there might be a few junctions or something it's got twenty three thousand miles not bad at all pretty new it's got the nissan connect it's got the crash warning system everything you could want on it really 
perfect and uh, just to let you know this was for the 10 days 700 pounds i think it was or 750 pounds that's full insurance um the full shebang everything with the full insurance through virgin and i earned extra air miles booking it through virgin so when you book it through them and you've got a air miles account you get an extra bundle of air miles and for booking can, it through virgin you can just get an airline and air miles account on the website as well yeah you just sign up and register yeah. the flight you've flown on and stuff so yeah that was a good bonus let's uh, let's hit the road let's get ourselves to the villa and let's hopefully get off to uh, hollywood studios yeah, can't wait so that's it we've got the car we're now heading out from the airport the train station has come on massive that's basically finished i saw more train track on the tram as well I've got the country station on. It is like coming home. I know. It's um, surreal. It's like pinch yourself. I don't feel like we're here. That was so swift and easy. Um, coming off. I'd definitely travel again on a Sunday here because there wasn't any other English flights landed. Sometimes you land and there's like two Virgins, a British Airways. You're waiting for ages. And we actually got our suitcase on the economy carousel quicker than loads of the people in the first class and premium carousel. Yeah. They were fuming as we walked past. And then Alamo, no queues. Yep, there's your paperwork. Yep, pick any of them cars. I like that. And this is all new, this petrol station and stuff here. But yeah, we're on track. We're gonna be, should be at Windsor Hills by about six. And that gives us three hours to my target tonight. If we can complete it, guys, I wanna, I just wanna ride on Tower of Terror if we can do it tonight. It'd be like, yeah. From Liverpool to Tower of Terror in the same day would be amazing for me. So, Laura, show you a few little bits of time lapse on the way. Hello. And then we'll see you when we get to Winter Hill. It's starting to go a little bit dark, which I'm not used to. It's normally it's still a little bit light by now when we come in September. Yeah. But yeah, catch you guys in a bit. So just to show you, this is what I meant by the E-Pass, the Sun Pass, we just say straight on. Instead of having to come off to the right there and having to put your coins in the toll and all that, we just stay on. And these cameras above your head here, you see them flashing. These will take a picture of the reg and they'll automatically charge my card uh, at the end of the trip or at the end of the week or whatever. So much easier than having to come off there and just nice and easy that. Okay, so the lighting will be great, but here we are, 7700 Conroe Street, very first villa. Looks very nice. Can't wait to uh, get in. I've just got to get the code off this phone and then we're in. Just in the villa, really smooth getting here. Uh, obviously, you get the door code in advance, so you just bang it straight in. They email it to you, so you know what you're doing. Smells gorgeous in here. Very, very clean, eh, Laura? The smell. Uh, it's absolutely spot on, especially for us. This is obviously very big for two people. Um, but I did want to show you it uh, and it's actually a subscriber uh, who owns this as well so really nice some nice little touches around I'm going to do a full tour of this tomorrow anyway we are going to go straight to Hollywood Studios now um, it shuts at nine it's about six so we want a couple of hours in there so I'm going to show you the rest of the villa and everything tomorrow finishing exploring it but just to mention, uh, really smooth and it's absolutely spot on. Smells gorgeous. The pool looks amazing. I quickly had a look at that. And there's some nice uh, Disney ornaments there as well. But yeah, we will show you all of this tomorrow. There's going to be a full tour on it as well. Uh, very, very thankful for it. It's absolutely lovely. And it does have a nice view out the back when it's daylight. You're going to get to see the nice view. Yeah, spot on. And this is very close to the clubhouse. This is the closest villa to the clubhouse you can get. Oh, so there you go. But I'll go through all that tomorrow. We've got our bum bags on. We've got our Disney Park tickets. We've got cash dollars. We've got our car key. We've got the phone for vlogging. And that's all we need. Let's hit the Tower of Terror. So we are here. It is so surreal. We're here. We were in Liverpool like this morning. And now we're here. We can see the Tower of Terror all lit up. Uh, the, the woman was really, really nice. She let us off with um, the parking because we're only going to be here for it's only two hours till the park closes. So it would have been harsh to charge us, but yeah, this is uh, this is surreal. Parked right at the front as well, so we can literally just walk in. It's all going pretty smooth so far. We're just going to see what the wait times are like. I don't know how busy it's been today. Um, we're just doing the standby queue, but we're going to find out. We're going to see. 
feel weird, Laura? It's crazy. It's it insane does. to be back Good here. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jay, everyone's dead friendly. I'm loving the service so far. Yeah. You know, you're in America. Everything service-wise has been amazing. And I can see the Tower of Terror lighting up now. Oh, it's so Christmassy out the front here. The, the Tower of Terror looks amazing lit up. And uh, oh, it's just so surreal being here. The smell. Oh, it's just, I can't, it's like you get emotional. I feel all emotional about it. Laura's like a kid, just like. <laughs> It does, oh, the Christmassiness of it as well and everything. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. If I can get on Tower of Terror tonight, my day is complete. My day is complete, but I'm getting such good vibes right now. Oh, this is, oh, it's just so Christmassy as well. It feels like I'm in a, like a Christmas, it doesn't even feel like Florida, right? We haven't been in Christmas for ages. I'm loving it loving it it feels so we've watched all these videos on youtube for the last two years and now we're actually here oh my word right we're gonna head straight to tower of terror or rock and roller coaster see what the wait time is but oh it feels so good to be back so good to be back so the little light projection show is on on the tower of terror now but we're gonna watch it properly uh, another day uh, we're going to head down see what the wait time is but we're going to watch this properly another night uh, in full because we've come in it's halfway through already so we'll catch this another night but it looks pretty good so we're going to see how long the wait time is for rock and roller coaster and uh, they've already finished a little refurb on the guitar that was under scrim the other week they've finished it already we're going to see tower terror is 45 if this one is less we'll do this one first or do this one if we can but oh, it's, it's really surreal being back. I know I'm repeating myself, but it is so surreal, but so good to be back. It looks like it's a 30 minute wait. Should we go for it, Laura? 30 minutes. Let's do it. Now, this is not a 30 minute wait. This is basically a walk on. Yes. Here we go. Yeah, love it, it's a walk-on. It's a walk-on. So we're gonna miss the pre-show because it is just a walk-on, but I'll take that any day. Definitely not a 30 minute queue. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm made up here. This is unbelievable, Laura. We only really got off the plane like an hour ago. It said 30 minutes, definitely not. This is the fastest <laughs> we've ever been. Fastest ever been. We even skipped the pre-show. I'm, I'm we're doing Tower of Terror after this for sure. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'll be awake after this. Oh my word! So good to be back. It's quite emotional. It's uh, the the thrill. I've just said to Laura, it's like the first, like bit of thrill that I've had in like two years yeah you know you get bits of Cyan Park but like, you know nothing nothing compares it's a uh, emotional face ride that good to be back that was a straight walk on as well so I'm hoping the Tower of Terror um posted wait time is uh, the same not as accurate so good to be back though so good to be back it's uh it's hard to explain, hard to explain, but yeah. Only people who do this sort of holiday yeah. can understand. Yeah, well, if you've been before, you, you get it. It's get like, like an emotional first ride, especially after all the crap that's gone on over the last two years. And even yesterday it's, on the uh, news, you was know, getting all that news about the new time Yeah, all that new variant and stuff. It's, uh, no, it's amazing to be back. Amazing. We've even got a little bit of fake snow to uh, christen the moment, Laura. And there she is. The one thing I wanted to ride tonight, you can see, look at the projection, the people dancing up at the top there. That's really good. It looks like the hotel is actually occupied. 
I, I really like that. Let's jump in the line, Laura. 35 minutes has gone down by 10 minutes since I saw it last time, so let's get in there. I cannot wait. Thanks, Bernard. I'll inside. Hi, friend. Just even hearing this Tower of Terror music is giving me such feels. I've got a bit of goosebumps, Laura. <laughs> I've got goosebumps here. We're winding all the way around. Should probably be about a 30 minute wait, I think. Yeah. I think it will be accurate. But tell you why Vera Smith didn't wake me off. This will, Laura. Yeah. every time on this ride and that one was a really good one really good oh so good a warm welcome back to those of you who made it as good as ever that was wasn't it yeah. as good as ever we'll look in the shops a little bit more when we've got a little bit more time on another day for now though, we're just gonna try and prioritize doing a few more rides. Uh, we're gonna get a drink now, a cold drink. Just grab a Powerade from somewhere. And then we maybe have a look at, see what the wait time is for Star Tours, something like that. We've got two hours until the park closes. So we'll probably have a look at Star Tours. Normally isn't too bad of a wait. Um, or maybe even see about one of the Toy Stories, but it might be a little bit too long, that one. Back out into the snow. It's so festive. So festive and here's a little drink stand, nice and easy for Laura here. We're gonna have a little uh, about a six dollar power read, but we'll get one. So it's look how crispy it is, Christmassy it is down there. Look at that for a view actually. So this vlog probably is a little bit all over the place. We're just sort of soaking it all in and it's strange to be back and it's night time and Mum and Dad aren't here, which is strange as well. And so it might be a little bit all over the place, but I will get to grips with it. This is the first time vlogging Florida and we're trying to enjoy it and I vlog it. And I mean, look at that gorgeous Christmas tree. That is stunning. Stunning. I've seen loads of this on other people's vlogs. I've been watching all the vlogs on the lead up to it. But uh, yeah, I'm a bit all over the place tonight, jumping off the plane straight into here. But we've done our two favorites already, haven't we? Yeah, made up. Yeah. I've noticed the, the wait times have now gone up. Rock and roller coasters now nearly an hour's wait. So I think as people head towards the exit, the rides that are towards the exit will pick up with wait times a little bit more. That's a stunning tree though. So we've seen on the board that uh, Millennium, not Millennium Falcon, Star Tours is only a 10 minute wait. So we're going to go and do Star Tours. It's never normally a long wait, that one. It's a good ride though. Yeah. And then after that, we'll maybe head over to Toy Story, see if we can get on Toy Story Mania, maybe. Yeah. While it's quiet, make the most of it. Make the most of these few hours. We've traveled all the way from Tenerife. We've just added it up. It's about 
24 hours of travel time if you include all the airport you know an hour in the car to manchester three yeah. hours in the airport then a nine hour flight it's like 24 hours of travel time just to be here so we want to make the most of every minute if we can yeah. <laughs> so and then i think later after this uh, we're going to go for a tgi fridays Ooh, on the yes. way home yeah. we're well into it now <laughs> come all this way we're going to hit it hard There you go, only, it's only a five minute wait now, so it's dropped again. This is a good ride, this one. This is another one where there's a few different ride options. You don't always get the same ride every time. So that was an excellent ride on Star Tours. That was a brand new ride scene that we've never done before. Yeah. And they did link it in with Batu at the end, which is the actual Star Wars land a bit further round. Um, so when you when you finished that one and you sort of landed in the scene, you were landing in Batu, but it was a brand new, whole brand new ride that to us basically. I feel like the last couple of times I've gone on it, it's been brand new yeah. because they keep updating it. Had an underwater thing because they just had a new film to each thing. So um, it's like a moving chair ride, but the, the the video changes each time. That was brand new, that completely. So it's like a brand new ride, that. Yeah. It was good as well. It's like an underwater section and stuff. So we're going to head across to um, Toy Story Land now, see how, what sort of wait times are over there. Yeah. If we get on something else, it's a bonus. See what's going on. Um, and if not, we're just soaking the atmosphere. Hello. It's uh, nice to be back. We're going to wander along the shops as well. And uh, maybe you can pick out your ears for this trip. Laura gets a new set of ears every time. <laughs> So each year she has a new pair, don't you? Yeah, I don't know what to go for this year, don't you? You've eyed up a few from vlogs and videos, haven't you? Yeah. But until you see them, I know, they'll, they'll jump out at you, yeah. And like vlogs and videos and yeah. Instagram, so you've got to wait till you get in the park to see them. They'll jump out at you when you yeah. find your pair. They always do. What a gorgeous view that is, though. The lighting in here at night is amazing. I've never been in here at night. Even on the Slinky Dog coaster, they've got all the lights on it as it goes around. Really nice. Do like the lighting. Just gonna check what the wait time for Slinky Dog is. If it's a bit too long, we'll go back and maybe do Toy Story Mania instead, which was 35 minutes long. Let's quickly check what Slinky Dog is weight-wise. on this as well look at that it's meant to be like a pencil everything is like you shrunk down like a toy like the box of crayola is everything is like your shrunk down into toy size yeah. uh, i do love that so yeah toy story mania it is a bit too long for stinky dash tonight uh, so once we've done this gonna have a mooch along the shops and then we're off for some dinner we've just met jackson from virginia in the queue line and uh, he's got something to say to you guys you've got to make sure they uh Subscribe to the Night Strider, there you go. Thank you very much.
Who's gonna win then, Laura? It'll be you, because you always win. You look very dapper there, you look lovely. Oh, look great. <laughs> yeah, we both look good fun. Highest score, 177 in the vehicle. Best this month, 588,000. So that was a really good fun ride on that one. I can't believe Laura beat me as well. I'm normally quite good at that one. I know, you normally beat me. Normally when my dad's here, or the rest of the family are here, we have like a little bet on it as well. Whoever wins gets like $20. So it wasn't quite as fun without the little bet there, dad. Uh, we're gonna have a little mooch along sort of the main street uh, in front of Tower of Terror now for Mooch along the shops, have a see, have a little look, see what's in. End up yeah. spending some dollars probably. Then we're probably going to head to TGI Fridays um, on the 192, I think. Yeah. Getting hungry now. I know, made up, we, as Laura said, made up. We've smashed it there tonight. Came in, made use of the hours, made use of the time. Good. Yeah. Happy with that. Really happy done. with what we've got done. Well happy. So this is uh, Pandora. We're in trouble now. Laura loves her park exclusive Pandora stuff. 50th anniversary stuff, this stuff. So Laura's picked her ears for this trip and they're a lovely pair of Christmassy ones. I do really like them. And they're nice and soft. Laura's also eyeing up this tracksuit here. Oh, no medium. No medium, I've seen one medium here. Oh no, no, it's an empty hanger. We'll ask them, we'll ask them in the back. So we are here, TGI Fridays for dinner. Then it is home to bed, just on the 192. It's absolutely empty in there, so I imagine it'll be pretty quick. It feels really late to us, but it is only 9 p.m. But it looks nice and quiet in here, so. Quick uh, bite to eat and it's bedtime, I think. You are tired, Laura? Not good, yeah. So I've been a bit naughty. I've gone for the mozzarella sticks to start, which look amazing. I've had them before, that's them. And then I'm gonna go for the signature whiskey glazed chicken sandwich. Laura's going for a gluten-free sizzling chicken sandwich. Now we've got a gluten-free chicken and cheese on the um, Oh, on the sis you've had that before, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I get that every time. Yeah. It is lovely in here, I like it in here. The mozzarella sticks have arrived within about two minutes of ordering them. Yeah. Uh, vast improvement on what we've just had in the UK service-wise. And they are delicious. I've already had one already. <laughs> Mains are out nice and quick. Laura's sizzling chicken there, looks amazing on the cheese there. I've got my usual chicken sandwich that I always get. Really fast, a couple of minutes max. Yeah. Still got starter there, it's coming back fast. Yeah, that's what it's done. So I can't see it all. Yeah, spot on. on. I've not, yeah. I've, uh, I have missed the service is always so fast. So that is going to conclude today's vlog. I did forget to end it, so I'm finishing off the next morning. Um, if you did enjoy the travel day, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Drop your comments as well. What did you think of that for a travel day? I was uh, full on, full on, but really good. Really enjoyed getting some bits done at the park. Feel like we really accomplished something there. Nice to get back in, suss it out as well. Uh, they were on it with the masks. There was a couple of times where mine had genuinely just fallen just below my nose and they were like, can you pull it up please? So they are on it with the masks, which was quite nice. Uh, I do like that. We did stay with our FP3s, but I think today we're going to change it and go for something a little bit easier on us because we had... You know, good quite a lot of hours with that FP3 mask on yesterday. So I'm going to go for something a little bit more airy today. Uh, but still be safe. There is hand sanitizers at the end of each ride as well. Some of them were empty, but it was towards the end of the day. So Disney quite on it. It'll be interesting to see what Universal are like with it. But for now, that's going to be it uh, from us. Join us tomorrow, which is today for me. Uh, we are up and it's about 6am. We're going to be going for 
uh, coffee and things like that. So make sure you join us for that. And we will be showing you more of the villa uh, in tomorrow's vlog as well. So uh, do tune in for that. It's absolutely lovely in here. Uh, really enjoying it. So thanks very much. Make sure you do subscribe if you're new to the channel. Completely free. And uh, stride on. See you tomorrow.